as you can see, still dark out. Got to start the day nice and early. A nice breakfast. Tim Hortons. Lovely jubbly. Today, I'm going to take you along with me and film a few clips of what I get up to for the day. So today's video is a day in the life of a six-figure UK eBay reseller. So let's go and see what I get up to. So first thing I'm going to show you is some sales that came through between now and yesterday tea time. Sales have actually dropped off, so this isn't... It's normally a lot more, but I'll go through and show you what's sold and how much it's sold for. So this here is just a random bundle of CDs, 50 of them there for 15 quid free postage. And then we have the resuscitation doll in bad condition. That accepted an offer on that for 50. So even in that condition, it still went for 50 quid. Then these here, just again a random selection of cassette tapes. I sell them in lots of 10 for £10 free postage. I accepted an offer on them for £9 free postage. And then this one here is an unknown fur coat. Try it on for you. I, this was up for 50 quid, but it's unknown fur coat, unknown size. So I accepted an offer for £32. What do you think? That is lovely on you, mate. Looks good, doesn't it? I'll rock anything, mate. <laughs> so yeah, that went for 32. Next we have... These only come in the other day. I had a job lot of loft hatches, brand new in the box. They're listed for 40 quid, but they don't owe me much. So I accepted an offer on a £25 free postage just to get them moving. There's a multi-quantity listing. This here is a Barbie ambulance with four Barbie dolls. That was up for 35. I accepted an offer for 31 pound plus seven pound postage. Next we have a Royal Dalton decanter. All right, Wedgwood actually. I don't know why it says Royal Dalton in the top. <laughs> right, that was a schoolboy error. Anyway, that, again, I accepted an offer on that for £18 plus £4 postage. These here was up for £100. I accepted an offer for 90 Death Row, Patrick E. Wing. Look at them. I think I'm the only person who's managed to sell a pair of these. There's a couple of listers, but no one's actually sold any. I could be wrong. But yeah, they went for 90 plus £5 postage. A Sylvanian Families Nursery Double Decker Bus in its box. That went for £18 plus £4 postage. Next we have a pub ashtray. That went for 30 quid plus five pound postage. Don't think I've ever sold an ashtray for that much. And then this here, I've had this listed for ages. It's just a PS1 game, nothing special. That went for £4.50 plus £2 postage. 
Next we have these T90 football boots, small size, size 5.5. And they went for £16 plus £4 postage. And then the last one says Jack Daniels Honey Icebox. That went for um, £25 on an offer plus £7 postage. It's quite heavy. So it would. So that is all the orders. Um, so next, I'll show you a few things we're taking to exit the shop today to restock and could have a little clean up for this little uh, screen pan. Gonna do some price reductions on stuff that's there already. Not much is going there today because I don't want to um, overload the shop. So we've just got some cassette tapes at £2 each. Just a couple of smalls. Another small item, just an ashtray, glass one for £4. And then these painted garden ornaments, but now they could be used as door stops. Are oh, three of these. Priced them at 15 quid. They're concrete, very heavy. I've had something similar to this before, like vintage Kellogg's Frosties ones, and I put them in for eight pound each and they sold within days. So this one here is a bit better, a bit bigger, but I'm still just pricing that at eight pound. Then we have a nice guitar stand, priced at 24 pound. Put your CDs in it. And then we got, I think, four or five Aqua Scoot and Trench Coats. Some of them are cashmere, and I've priced them all at £65 each. No discount, because I think that's cheap. And then we've got that one. I've got more, but I'm not putting them, not putting them in the shop. Got a nice one there. Again, they're all £65. And another one. This one here is an unbranded trench coat, but it's like wool, nice and warm, ready for the winter. Just putting that in for £14. Cheap as chips. And then we got a figurehead. That's priced at £30. A wooden rocking horse, priced at 25 no discount. What else is there? And then, this here is a restored vintage fairground ride. So it was red originally, loads of holes and damage. It's been professionally restored into what it is now. So I'm gonna put that in for, I'm gonna aim for 120, test the waters, see what happens. Always bring the price down, and then, as you can see, it's hectic in here. So we need to have a little tidy up, which might be on today's list, or it might not be. I need some racking, but it's hard to get hold of. Um, so today, we're, we're gonna go restock the shop, grab some cardboard from a new contact while we're in Exeter. We're also gonna go to Drake's auction house and pick up just two items that are left over from yesterday because I couldn't fit them in the... Uh, the person who collected it for me couldn't fill it in safely. And my van was off the road, I had a frozen handbrake. But it's fixed now, so I'm gonna go collect that. Another little tip while I'm here, when you get electronics, if they're broken and not working and they're not worth selling the spares or repairs, I cut the plugs off and then I keep the plugs and I can reuse them on other electronics that are missing the plugs and then I cut the cables and then I just pull it all in the bin like that until it fills up 
then take it to the scrapyard and you get about 40 or 50 quid. And then these here, if they got a nice design on them, they're all polished, looking fresh, they're worth selling on their own. Ones like this, they're not really worth selling. So I've snapped the stick off. You can get these for a couple of quid in car boots or auction in the job lot. And then I would just sell these. I would take these to the scrapyard and you get about seven quid for that. So if you're just paying a couple of quid, build them up, take them down. So you get money for that. Nice little tip for you. Door. <laughs> Got my bad, my bad hand. I forgot about. Off to Drake's auction now. Pick up the last two items that I didn't get from yesterday. Just got back from the auction. A lot of it got dropped off yesterday, but these two bits here, so this bit, it's a massive tapestry. Should get over 100 for that, easy. So that couldn't fit in yesterday, so I uh, picked that up today. Along with, Two three meter poles of um, copper. You're probably thinking, why bid on that? But you bid on it, you get it cheap, and then just scrap it in straight away. It's easy money. Um, for so, I'll show you. Grab some bits for Exeter. In the van, ready to restock the shop. So we're going to go to Exeter now, so I'll film again when we get there. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die by me falling asleep behind the wheel on the way to Exeter.
have a little tidy up. When you come here, they leave it like this. So you've got to re-sleeve them. Tidy all that. But it is what it is. All restocked, deductions made, cleaned up, records tidied, new stock put in, swooped up, got some cool bits in, some nice warm aqua scooting jackets, long ones, nice and warm, cashmere, lovely. So I finished that Exeter restocking and tidying. So while I'm in Exeter, I've made a new cardboard contact. So I'm about to pick up the first batch of boxes. So each week or every other week when I'm in Exeter, I'll just pop by, fill the van up with a load of boxes. So let's go and get them. We're back at the warehouse now, and that's the cardboard boxes we got from our new contact. The van full, they're all exactly the same size. This is the measurements here. So, should we give you a little quick idea? So, obviously, if all the flaps are folded down. Interesting piece of content ever. That one's broke. And then what I'm gonna do now to finish the day off is get all this packed up, get a few listings done, and get this video up for you. So hopefully that was a decent video. If not, unlucky.